A very good morning. Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, a breakthrough discovery and probably one of the biggest in the last few hundred years may finally put to rest the question of whether aquatic humanoids, or what we colloquially know as mermaids, really exist. Now, this may sound like a science fiction story or a, an April Fool's joke, but I promise you it isn't. A uh, recent discovery made by scientists in Greenland and archaeologists on the southwest coast of South Africa may change the world as we know it forever. And these findings will truly blow your mind. Take a look at this. Since time immemorial, human beings have had a fascination with mermaids. Aquatic humanoids or human fish hybrids have been documented in cave paintings and historical literature for hundreds of years. We have statues that represent our ideas of what they might look like littered across the world. Most people believe them to be nothing but science fiction. But an Animal Planet documentary entitled Mermaids, The New Evidence purports to show footage shot in 2013 from a submarine off the coast of Greenland of the first sighting of what looks like an aquatic humanoid. The footage was shot with two cameras, both of which seem to show a creature with frighteningly human qualities. Despite the eerily realistic breakthrough video evidence, no physical specimen of mermaids has existed. That is, until now. A recent discovery at Shelley Point of the west coast of South Africa this past weekend may be the most incredible find of the century. A group of locals during a day at the beach stumbled across a fossil exposed by sand erosion that quite literally defies scientific reason. Some of the top archaeologists from across the country were called to the site where they began a careful excavation. After clearing away the rubble, the fossil's basic structure became clear with the head and arms of a human, but with a tail, the fossil appears to be the first concrete evidence of the existence of aquatic humanoids. And while at first it seemed that this fossil was found in isolation, after digging a little deeper, a trove of specimens was found, some that defy human imagination. In the coming weeks, scientists from all across the world will be descending on South Africa's west coast to view the findings and to begin the classification process that will see aquatic humanoids certified as an official animal species with a Latin name Marmor Ostia. So if anyone tells you they spotted a mermaid and you want to have them committed to an asylum, you might want to bite your tongue because mermaids really do exist. Admittedly, that may look that have looked like an excerpt from the X-Files in the late 90s, but that is as real as it gets. This is a true discovery. We are not making this up. And I guess this puts to question then, you know, the origins of human. Where do we come from? What are we doing on this planet Earth? And, you know, what else have we not discovered? Is it at the bottom of the ocean or outside in outer space where we haven't even traveled yet? Uh, these are the questions that are being asked. And I guess another question is that, you know, if this discovery really is real, and as real as it is, uh, the existence of a species so close by, closely biologically made up to homo sapiens raises the question of uh, should mermaids then if they are real be given the same rights as humans you know should they have the, the same rights maybe let, let us know on our espresso morning show sabc3 facebook page we will be talking to experts uh, that were at the head of this discovery a bit later on to try and shed some more light on it right now though let's take a look at the morning's news headlines Earlier on, we showed you a video clip that uh, basically says that a, a discovery, a scientific and archaeological discovery may have been made that might change our understanding of human history, history of the world as we know it. Now, with us on the line to tell us a bit more is Dr. Ross Margot, who led a team of archaeologists who made the incredible discovery just off uh, Shelley Point on the West Coast. Uh, Dr. Margot, thank you very much for taking our call. It's a pleasure. Give us a bit of uh, detail on what happened and, and what it felt like for you to make this discovery. How did the day progress and how did you get to this? Well, right now, of course, it's quite overwhelming. Um, but, of course, in the beginning, when we got the call, we were obviously extremely skeptical. Uh, as an archaeologist, you can count your lucky stars if you find one dinosaur bone the size of a pinky finger you yeah. know, in your lifetime. So to have found this variety of specimens and, well, in such pristine condition, and being a new species, uh, it's just nothing we've ever seen before. Yeah. But look, it must be said that while the discovery was made this weekend, we've only just released the findings. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely early days. Yes, and um, of course, for everyone that has just tuned in right now, we're talking about this geological and scientific discovery that may allude to the existence of mermaids, real mermaids. So what are the implications of a discovery like this, Doctor? 
Well, it must first of all be said that we don't know exactly what it is yet. Yes. I'm not a marine biologist. I'm an archaeologist. Yes. But I think we've got to be careful about describing it as an aquatic humanoid, as mm -hmm. you did in your report, because we don't know how human it really is. Now, in popular culture, so-called mermaids, it often denotes the connotation that these creatures are half-human or hybrid, so to speak. But right now, we're classifying this as an animal, not a half-human. Mm -hmm. That being said, the samples we discovered do seem to show uniquely human features. What's interesting is the skeletal structure of the specimens. Yes. They seem to have very similar upper body skeletons to humans. That's from the torso upwards. From the waist down, they all have tails, some have dorsal fins and gills, but all of them seem to have a human-like spine, human arms, hands and fingers. And this is what's most incredible. The skulls are remarkably similar, yeah. from the position of the eyes to the jawline and the teeth. Some of them even have hair, which is quite remarkable. But one must remember that apes have similar skull structures and hair, mm -hmm. and they are very different from us in very fundamental ways. Yes. So how, how does the discovery that you made differ from the footage that we saw uh, coming from Animal Planet in that documentary that was titled Mermaids? Well, the fact is they don't appear to be the same species. Mm -hmm. Now, again, I'm not a marine biologist, so I can't speak authoritatively on this, but yes. the creature caught on that video appears to be very different. It must also be said that the, the discoveries we made were also not the same species. Of the five we found, at least three were of a different species or perhaps the same species but at a different stage of evolution. Mm -hmm. And of course, the, the ones we found may have died out a long time ago and may no longer exist. Mm -hmm. in, in terms of their level of intelligence, we just don't know. But if the creatures caught on video off the coast of Greenland can be captured, well, that may raise ethical concerns around how we classify them and treat them going forward. Yes. So now that all of this information or the little that we have so far has been taken in, what are the next steps? Well, of course, there's still a great deal more to be done. Uh, this is an, and this is the exciting part. We need to age the specimens to find out how old they are. And they need to be independently verified by the archaeologists who will be flying into Cape Town this week. Mm -hmm. From there, we can start to figure out how they behaved and why they ended up on the west coast of South Africa and why they died there. Mm -hmm. From that, we can piece together a story. Uh, any more than that, uh, we just don't know. But needless to say, we are tremendously excited. Fantastic. Dr. Margot, thank you very much for your time and for your insights. We really do appreciate it. Thank you, sir. That is Dr. Ross Margot, the team leader of the archaeological team that made the discovery at Shelley Point on the West Coast. So that's the question we're asking right now. Of course, right now there are more questions than answers, but we look forward to the discovery as it comes along. But if it were to be the case that these beings, or whatever that you, you want to call them, are classified as some kind of humanoid, aquatic humanoid, the question we want to ask you on Facebook and on Twitter as well is, uh, you know, should we give them the same rights as humans? Should they have the same rights? Also give us a call on 083-913-3728. We would love to hear from you. Very, very exciting stuff uh, uh, to start your Tuesday morning. Ponder it a little bit while you recharge your cup of coffee. We'll be right back.